All right, guys. So Judge Preska has put an end to the latest ridiculous request by Alan Dershowitz, which I covered in my last video. And uh, as I predicted in that video and the other, and the one before that, I said that there's no way Judge Preska would allow this to happen. And she didn't. I don't see Judge Preska um, letting Alan Dershowitz release that settlement to Prince Andrew because it would be a violation of the protective order and it would be a violation of just basic legal logic. Andrew has absolutely no right or privilege to get access to this document. So I think this should be a layup for, for Judge Preska, but we'll see what she does. Okay, so what was the request? Well, as we talked about, Alan Dershowitz wanted to release a 2009 general release and settlement that that was between Virginia Roberts and Jeffrey Epstein. So this is from 2009. Okay, I've shown the document or the lawsuit from there. Um, Alan Dershowitz was not a party to that. He was not a lawyer for Jeffrey Epstein in that case. He was not one of the defendants and neither was Prince Andrew. So what Alan Dershowitz wanted to do was to release that, um, that, that settlement agreement to Prince Andrew for his case against Virginia Roberts and his reasoning was for ethical reasons. Now, Judge Preska came out and she put out a letter today Day, um, saying that she has denied his request. Okay, so let's go over what she said here. Mr. Dershowitz seeks this relief to release that settlement agreement as, quote, a matter of professional ethics to fulfill his professional obligation to ensure that Ms. Giffray cannot assert claims in another lawsuit that Mr. Dershowitz believes are barred based on his reading of a settlement agreement. By the way, no, the settlement agreements are very boilerplate and they don't say any revelatory information or they don't uh, comment on the facts of the case. It basically says both parties agree to this, that, and the other, or this both parties do not take any liability, but they agree uh, They agree to whatever settlement amount. That's usually how a, how, a, how a settlement agreement is worded. I don't know what he's talking about when he says that there's some information in there that, you know, makes him um, ethically obligated to uh, re release that information to Prince Andrew. It's ridiculous. He's not even a party to um, Virginia Roberts lawsuit against Prince Andrew. So he wants to take information from one lawsuit that he was not involved in in 2009 and hand it over to a person in another lawsuit that he is not involved in. But he's an outsider trying to release information to uh, Prince Andrew's um, lawyers about this 2009 settlement. OK, so it was insane from the beginning. I said it was insane. David Boyce came out and said it was insane. I covered that in my last video. And basically, Preska said the same thing. And I love the way that she worded it here. She says, quote, there is no basis for Mr. Dershowitz's requesting a document subject to the protective order for use in another case to which he is not a party. To the court's knowledge, Mr. Dershowitz has not been commissioned as a rowing ethics monitor. The fact that she called him a rowing ethics monitor is awesome. It's right out of like law and order. So no one really knows what was said. And you can't go on a fishing expedition to find out. People v. Pena held that a defendant cannot go on a roving tour through somebody's personal information without a stated purpose. Violence. This guy is basically walking into a courtroom and telling a judge that he wants to release a document from 2009 in a case that he was not involved with to another case in 2021 where he's not involved. Don't be ridiculous. So it's ridiculous. OK, so this is what the judge said. Accordingly, for the reasons stated above, Mr. Dershowitz's request to permit disclosure of the settlement agreement is denied. She also went on to say if Prince Andrew wants to look at this document, then he can bring that up in his own case in Giffray versus Prince Andrew. So that's basically it. Judge Preska slammed the door hard on Alan Dershowitz's ridiculous request. I mean, you have to be literally somebody who knows nothing about the law to request something like this. Did you really think a judge was going to let you um, release a document to somebody who he was not involved? Prince Andrew was not involved in that case in 2009. You were not involved in that case in 2009. Why do you think the judge would let you give over documents about a case that you were not a party to? OK, and that like, like she said here, that uh, that settlement agreement is under a protective order. OK, and the parties involved in it, both Jeffrey Epstein and Virginia Roberts have said, no, we do not want you to release it. Both sides have said no to um, Alan Dershowitz, but nevertheless, he persisted. And now he has lost. He's been officially shut down by the judge. And uh, that is the bottom line. I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, press all for future videos and make sure to share this video with other people who are interested in this case. And if you want to support my work, you can do so on Patreon and also by joining channel memberships down below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. As always, peace.